In 1991, the World Health Organization acknowledged that the predominant source of human exposure to mercury is from your fillings. That should be of concern to anyone, though all mercury silver fillings leak substantial amounts of mercury constantly. The amount increases with any kind of stimulation, and as a result, mercury from fillings produces the majority of human exposure to mercury. The International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology is extremely concerned about the anecdotal claims of safety by manufacturers and dental trade associations. They're at variance with the published, peer-reviewed scientific evidence to the contrary. The precautionary principle requires action once the possibility of harm exists. It does not require proof beyond a shadow of a doubt that in the case of heavy metal and xenobiotic exposure is both nearly impossible and unnecessary in our opinion. What you're seeing is mercury vapor coming off a 25-year-old silver amalgam filling in an extracted tooth. The background is a phosphorescent screen. The mercury vapor absorbs the fluorescent light and you can see it as a shadow on the screen. This is mercury coming off a filling that was dipped in water that's the same temperature as the human body. This is a filling that was rubbed with a pencil eraser for just a few seconds. Like going to the hygienist and having her clean your teeth. These are not small amounts of mercury. If you can see it, it's more than 1,000 times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency will allow for the air that we breathe. What about the last time you went to the dentist and they drilled on your tooth? Here is the mercury vapor every time you raise the temperature to 110 degrees with hot coffee or warm water or even chewed on it. Mercury comes off fillings every time you stimulate them and that stimulation causes the mercury to continue to leak out of the fillings for an hour and a half at a minimum. Some people grind their teeth. Some people chew gum. The dentist might send an old gold crown to the dental lab to be welded. How about the dental personnel? They're not being given informed consent. Back in 1985, the International Academy of Oral Medicine Toxicology set out to determine the amount of mercury that was coming off fillings. And here's the graph. Showing substantial quantities of mercury were measured coming off fillings. And then we estimated the total dose. And then we began animal experiments and put radioactive fillings in sheep. Mercury accumulated in the jaw, stomach, liver, and kidney of the sheep in just 30 days. Substantial quantities of mercury spread from the fillings to every organ in that sheep's body. Then we measured that the sheep's kidneys dropped in their ability by 60% to clear inulin, an indication of kidney malfunction. Whole body imaging of monkeys found exactly 